Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixel Sheet. Today we're diving into the SUMIF function. Now let's say you have a set of data, uh, random categories, random numbers, and you want to say a function that sums together based on a criteria. You can use the SUMIF formula to do that. So a SUMIF formula starts off with SUMIF has three pieces, range, criteria, and sum range. The range is the range of which you're going to find your data and it has to include the values. Now it must start off with your criteria. So you can have a spreadsheet with multiple columns that you want to span as far as your range for your sum if. The first column has to be what you're looking for. So in this case, we're going to be looking for one of these fruits or vegetables. So my range is BC because it includes my uh, numerical range that I want to sum. Uh, I could extend it out further if I chose to, not including column G because I would potentially get a circular reference. But in this case, it's silly to keep going, so I'm just going to select B and C. So that would be the range, the criteria. Uh, we're going to put it into this cell here in F4, which you can have that anywhere. It does not have to be next to the formula itself. It doesn't even have to be in the same tab. But we will select F4 for our criteria. And then the last piece is the sum range. Now this will be your numerical values. Again, I'm selecting column C. Uh, as I've shown in previous videos, I like to select entire columns, assuming that that is how your data set is arranged. If you select the individual ranges, so starting with B4 through C44, if you had a sum if formula and you dragged it down, it would also drag the range down. So you'd have to protect the letters with dollar signs so that they do not move. Uh, but don't need to worry about that if I select the entire column. I'm not dragging this formula down anyway. I have a single entry of it, so it does not apply. But after I have those three things, I'm gonna close parentheses. Now it found nothing because uh, in my range, I have null value here. I'm gonna put in Apple. I know Apple is at least in this list, but when I put that in, I get 106. Now I know it's working properly because I have an apple here, 59, and then apple here, 47. So that's 106. Now, I could have put a filter in, I could have filtered for the word apple, resummed that column, but that doesn't help build spreadsheets with dynamic lookup values, such as just as apple, where you can plug and play what that criteria is, and it'll redo your sum range. So for instance, if I put in Kiwi, again, knowing that I have two values in there, one being 10 and the other being 18 down here, it is summing it to 28. If I put in orange, I only have the single entity of orange of four. It's still summing it, but does not find it in there. If I type in a random value that's not found, it'll return zero. Again, just summing the values together, but it doesn't find it. So that concludes this video on SUMIF. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, there's plenty of other videos on Excel tips if you just want to browse around the channel. Until next time, happy spreadsheeting.